For the first time in more than two decades, millions of viewers watching a televised U.S. presidential impeachment hearing. You swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to... With Democratic and Republican lawmakers making their dueling cases to Americans Wednesday, with less than a year to go until the next presidential election. And I have a feeling that your country is going to do fantastically well. Donald Trump is accused of trying to pressure Ukraine into investigating the U.S. president's political rival Joe Biden, using $400 million in U.S. aid and a White House visit as leverage. Is this what Americans should now expect from their president? If this is not impeachable conduct, what is? That's from the opening statement from Adam Schiff, the Democratic chairman of the House Intelligence Committee that's leading the proceedings. The panel's top Republican, Devin Nunes, argues Trump did nothing wrong, attacking the inquiry itself. Anyone familiar with the Democrats' scorched earth war against President Trump would not be surprised to see all the typical signs that this is a carefully orchestrated media smear campaign. Facing hours of questioning, the public hearing's first two witnesses, Bill Taylor, the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, and George Kent, a deputy assistant secretary of state. Ken testifying he'd been alarmed by efforts by Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, and others to pressure Ukraine. In mid-August, it became clear to me that Giuliani's efforts to gin up politically motivated investigations were now infecting U.S. engagement with Ukraine. And a new revelation from Taylor, who says he just learned on Friday that his staff overheard a phone call between Trump and the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sondland. That happened the day after Trump's July 25th Ukraine call. Following the call with President Trump, the member of my staff asked Ambassador Sondland what President Trump thought about Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland responded that President Trump cares more about the investigations of Biden, which Giuliani was pressing for. I take it the import of that is he cares more about that than he does about Ukraine. Yes, sir. Trump's camp has claimed the U.S. president's talks with Ukraine were aimed at rooting out corruption. Trump repeatedly saying his July 25th call with Ukraine's president that's at the center of the inquiry was perfect, urging people to read the transcript of that call. One Democrat did read a portion of the summary of that call. I quote, there's a lot of talk about Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution and a lot of people want to find out about that. So whatever you can do with the attorney general would be great. Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution. So if you can look into it, it sounds horrible to me. Mr. Kent, when you hear those words, do you hear the president participating in or requesting a thoughtful and well-calibrated anti-corruption program? I do not. In your opinion, was this a comprehensive and whole of government effort to end corruption in Ukraine? Referring to the requests in July? Exactly. Uh, I would not say so. No, sir. Republicans argue there was no wrongdoing and that the evidence is second and third hand. Where is the impeachable offense in that call? Are either of you here today to assert there was an impeachable offense in that call? Shout it out. I'm not here to do anything having to do with uh, to, to decide about impeachment. That is not what either of us are here to do. This is this is your job. You both know that this impeachment inquiry is about the president of the United States, don't you? I mean, the man that neither one of you have had any contact with, you're the first up witnesses. Over at the White House, Trump hosting the president of Turkey, claiming he wasn't watching the hearing. I'm too busy to watch it. It's a witch hunt. It's a hoax. I'm too busy to watch it. And a reminder, it's the Republican-controlled Senate that will ultimately have the final say on whether Trump will stay in office. Now, public hearings will continue on Friday and into next week, including with some witnesses who did have closer ties with Trump and his dealings with Ukraine.